and we are back with the Bad Batch Season 1 Episode 3 titled Replacements. Guys and gals, if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, hit that notification bell, smash that like button, you know all the things the YouTubers say. Check out our links to our socials and our Patreon page in the description box. And if you want to see the full uncut reaction to this episode and episodes of various other TV shows and movies as well, yes we do those too, then go over to our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash coreharmonic. But of course, the picture in picture video will not be at the bottom, so you'll have to connect a copy of the episode with my reaction. I always do a little bit of a recap. We were on Saluka Mai. We got to see Karen Sue and the kids. We got this father daughter relationship going on between Omega and Hunter. Tech and Echo working together and being in this hopefully forever disagreement and from time to time agree of course the empire is already seizing and tagging ships and registering people with these chain codes got into planned their escape with the kids and hunter thought it would be best for omega to go with them especially how he's new to this whole raising kids deal but omega made her own decision and returned back to the bad batch and now she is part of the Bad Batch family. These are the reaction highlights and I do not have a lot of time so let's get into this reaction right freaking now. The Bad Batch. All bloody and we've been through some shit. That's all for now. Rations are low. He's a big guy. He has to eat a lot more. He doesn't even have a place to sleep. You want to take our food too? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Indicated no critical systems were compromised. Well, that's good at least. But y'all didn't land well out of a uh, hyperspace. I'd say that's pretty critical. It's not affecting life support. We're fine. Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, that is funny. Poor droid. Ow! <laughs> yeah, this. Something landed on his head. What? That's Crosshair's weapon kit. Uh, fine. I'll say it. I kind of miss him. He shot you, remember? Yeah, but he's still family. CP9904, you will be pleased to know your vitals are at optimum level. Go away. They keep uh, messing him up, man. Ah, Governor Tarkin. Tarkin ain't Super taking no chances. Right on schedule, Rampart. What is the status of Project War Mantle? On schedule, sir. Our top recruits are here to begin their training under their new commander. Oh. Oh, that's bad. That's so bad. What was that? I'm a little busy at the moment. There's a the creature that. Oh. Oh, but they're there now. Get out of there. Oh, man, I would have left immediately. I would not love to wait to find out, especially if they are in a pack. What? What is it? Some kind of creature. About this reminds me of the creature that was on the uh, Millennium uh, Falcon. That thing could be dangerous. I'm part of the squad now too, right? Takes more than that. Well, yeah, in a sense. All right, kid. Just stay close. But not in the field. With the Empire, I get paid, I get fed, and I have a roof over my head. 
That's more than the Republic ever did for me. Man, I get that. Send the clone and your recruits to Onderon. I want Saw Gerrera's camp found and wiped out. Let's see if they can succeed where Clone Force 99 failed. We shouldn't be angry at him. He can't help it. <sighs> I'm angry at myself. We don't leave our own behind. Yeah, but you, you couldn't take him with you this time. Why would they put him in charge? Problem. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds to me like it's time for a change. What, you? That has to be crosshair. Oh, no. Just the elite squad. A little bit sleepy, guys and gals. A little bit sleepy. But, hey, they're pushing through. They're pushing through. It's getting away! <laughs> oh, he's gonna be poisoned. I love her accent so much. Such a thick accent. She's already going to showcase how much she's like Hunter, you know? With both having those heightened senses of sensing things uh, right next to them. Oh, that's not good. He's gonna take that shot, isn't he? Such a great shooter. Where's Guerrera? I don't know. But I wouldn't tell you if I did. I believe you. Ugh, crosshair, man. This is wrong. So you're not this is so wrong. There have been many times, disgusting, many times, you're not a good soldier, not deep in your heart. Guess I got lucky. Uh, run, 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 run. I think he knows that she went for the, the creature on her own. I mean, it is attractive to uh, electricity. So that's what it consumes. It consumes electricity. Had a girl. It will be unlike anything the galaxy has seen. Then I leave this project in your capable hands, Admiral. Thank you, sir. Open him! <laughs> Check it out! What did he get her? It's your own. Yes. I thought this place could feel more like a home. It's perfect. Thank you, Rika. <laughs> oh, it was nothing. Yes, you are, girl. Yes, you are. That was a quick 20 minutes. I really want to know what's going on with the whole project war mental that Tarkin is working on with that 
guy that brought in the recruits the first elite squad who will be trained by crosshair and this is gonna cause so many problems for the rest of the members of the bad batch and the new honorary bad batch member i can't wait to see how crosshair is going to find new intricate ways to take them down i would love to see the kind of thing of he comes up with some kind of plot some kind of plan, some kind of trap, or maybe a few traps to actually capture them. But it doesn't work out and he starts to realize, okay, I gotta come up with cooler stuff and it just gets worse and worse and worse along the way. I do like that whole element of their ship being damaged and thrown out of how I do like the whole element <clears throat> I do like the whole element of their ship being damaged and thrown out of hyperspace and at a certain point in time food and water will start to run low probably equipment and so many other things like for example the bombs that Wrecker is carrying this really brings them on the path of realization where they have to work with what they have. They don't have anywhere else that they can just get stuff and they're all fully loaded and they can take on Tarkin on their own or at least take on Crosshair on their own and his uh, little elite squad. This is all they got, you know, and they have to make the best of it. And I love that, you know, because this will make them stronger. This will make them faster. This will force them to think smarter than they ever have before. As much as this is a show for kids, they went off when it comes to Crosshair and his elite squad just killing all those refugees and people trying to survive. Like, they straight up wiped them out. And yeah, they didn't show it because, again, it's a kid's show. But they at least gave you that idea, that horrifying feeling of, oh my god, they've just been killed right there, right in front of the elite squad. And Crosshair gave that order. And in some way, this made it even more horrifying than seeing the actual shooting, like seeing that actual footage of them being shot. It's that whole thing of what you don't see is way more terrifying than actually seeing it, you know? So let's talk about the Kaminoans for a second. Clearly, they are trying to survive. Is this new project that they just created exactly what they need to survive? But maybe something happened. Maybe there was a glitch. Maybe somebody sabotaged this new project of theirs and things just went wrong and this leading to them being executed which is something that I don't remember seeing in any Star Wars film or show that I've ever seen. Maybe this is an off-screen thing that has happened before and I just don't remember any YouTube channel talking about it and maybe it happened in the comics. This show not only gave us a new take on the clones but also a whole different approach of how Omega would do things and how Hunter would do things because those two in theory are the same but in practice they do things differently if this was Hunter against the creature I think I can almost guarantee that he would have shot it granted Omega was about to do the same thing because she was scared but she still decided to go a different way about this communicating with the creature further and actually getting the asset that they need and completing the mission. So now she has acquired the tracking skills, the securing skills. Now she has her first mission success. And above all that, she got her own room made by Wrecker. He's such a sweetheart. And of course it makes sense. Wrecker has that childlike nature that just fills you with joy. I also want to see how the whole chain code implementation is going to commence further. 
that's the end of the discussion guys and girls if you haven't already subscribe hit that notification bell smash that like button if you are new here we react to trailers tv shows and movies this is not the only thing that we do i will be coming up with many 10 things lists in the future so be on the lookout for that if you haven't already follow us on our socials as well Take a look at everything we have going on in the description. We also have a few DC reactions on our Patreon page. Also, in case you don't know, I will be reacting to What If and The Book of Boba Fett and everything else Star Wars, Lucasfilm, Marvel related that's coming up. And I will see you in the next reaction video, reaction highlights or full uncut reaction. Bye!